Hello everyone, welcome to EFS Hackers. I'm Afshan and as you guys know, we are working on the Try Hack Me's Junior Penetration Tester Learning Path. And in this video, we are going to learn about the subdomain enumeration. So this room has six tasks. Uh, so let's start with the first task. Uh, first task is brief. Uh, so subdomain enumeration is the process of finding valid subdomains for a domain. But why do we do this? We do this to expand our attack surface to try and discover more potential points of vulnerabilities. Okay, we will explore three different subdomain enumeration methods. The first one is brute force. Second one is OSINT, that is open source intelligence and virtual host. Uh, start the machine and then move on to the next task. Okay, let's start the machine. Okay, answer the questions below. What is the subdomain enumeration method beginning with B? That is brute force. Let's copy brute force. Copy it and paste it here. Submit the answer. Okay. Second question is what is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with O? That is OSINT. Let's copy OSINT or open source intelligence. Submit the answer. Last question is what is the subdomain enumeration method beginning with v that is virtual host let's copy it okay okay task 2 is osint uh, or open source intelligence ssl tls certificates let's see when an ssl tls that is secure sockets layer uh, or transport layer security certificate is created for a domain uh, by a CA that is certificate authority. CAs take part in what's called certificate transparency or CT logs. Uh, these are publicly accessible logs of every SSL or TLS certificates created for a domain name. The purpose of certificate transparency logs is to stop malicious and accidentally made certificate from being used. We can use this service to our advantage to discover subdomains belonging to a domain. Uh, sites like https uh, crt.sh and this transparency report.google.com offer a searchable database of certificate that shows current and historical result so we'll put this link in the description box this is crt.sh uh, go to the crt.sh and search for a domain name that is tryhackme.com uh, and find the entry that was logged at 26th December 2020 and enter the domain below to answer the question. Okay, let's find out. Try hackme.com. Let's search. Okay. Okay, the entry that was logged at 26 December 2020. 26 December let's copy this date and find it we have got two logs let's copy the store.tryhackme.com so what domain was logged on crt.sh at 26 December 2020 so this domain was logged that is store.tryhackme.com let's submit the answer okay that's correct so this is the store the official tryhackme store this was this domain was logged at 26 december 2020 okay Task 3 is OSINT search engines. Let's see. Uh, search engines contain trillions of links to more than a billion websites, which can be an excellent resource for finding new subdomains. Using advanced search method on websites like Google, such as the site colon filter can narrow the search result, would only contain results leading to the domain name uh, domain.com, but exclude any links to www.domain Dot com it shows us only subdomain names belonging to the domain.com go to the google and use the search term let's see 
okay let's search it will display all the tryhackme.com links pen test quiz the find command try hack me try hack me try hack me okay okay let's try the different query okay what room should you do okay blog dot try hack me use the subdomain to answer the question below okay what is the try hack me subdomain beginning with b discovered using the above google search okay let's see so the the subdomain start with b so we have got this blog.tryhackme.com this is the site blog.tryhackme.com is a subdomain let's submit the answer okay it is correct task 4 is dns brute force brute force dns that is domain name system enumeration is the method of trying tens hundreds and thousands or even millions of different possible subdomains from a predefined list of commonly used subdomains because this method requires many requests we automate it with tools to make the process quicker in this instance we are using tool called dns recon to perform this click the view site button to open the static site press the run dns recon request button to start the simulation and then and then answer the question below what is the first domain found with the dns recon tool let's see let's let's first see the what is dns recon let me close this tab what is dns recon so dns recon is a free and open source tool or script that is available on github dns recon is one of the popular script in the security community which is used for reconnaissance on a domain okay okay this is the kali.org dns recon blog we'll put this link in a description box like if you want to practice you can practice with this okay okay let's click on the view site button and run the dns recon request okay so the first subdomain is api.acmeitsupport.thm that is try hack me let's copy it and paste it here submit the answer okay it is correct okay task 5 is osint that is sublister so automation using sublister let's see to speed up the process of osint subdomain discovery we can automate the above method with the help of tools like sublister you can install sublister from here this is a github repository of sublister okay click the view site button to open up the static site and run the sublister simulation to discover a new subdomain that will help answer the question below okay so what is the first subdomain discovered by sublister so let's see okay this is the command it is a python program actually let's run the sublister request on this acme it support dot thm site searching now in bedu yahoo google bing total unique subdomain found so the first subdomain is web 55 dot acme it support dot thm let's copy it and paste it here submit the answer okay task 6 is virtual host let's see 
uh, some subdomains aren't always hosted in publicly accessible DNS result such as development version of a web application or administration portals. Instead, the DNS record could be kept on a private DNS server or recorded on the developer's machine in their etsy host file or in C. It is present on this particular path that is C, Windows, System32, Drivers, Etsy and Host. File for Windows user which maps domain name to IP addresses. Because web servers can host multiple websites from one server when a website is requested from a client. The server knows which website the client wants from the host header. Uh, we can utilize this host header by making changes to it and monitor the and monitoring the response to see if we have discovered a new website okay like with dns brute force we can automate this process by using a word list of commonly used subdomain start an attack box and then try the following command against the acme it support machine to try and discover a new subdomain the above command use the w switch to specify the word list we are going to use the h switch add adds editor header in this instant the header host header we have the first keyword in the space where a subdomain would normally go and this is where we will try all the option from the word list because the above command will always produce a valid result we need to filter the output we can do this by using the page size result with the uh, fs switch edit the below command replacing size with the most occurring size value from the previous result and try it on the attack box so let me uh, let me start my attack box it will take some time guys uh, let's start the terminal let's copy it let's copy the command hyphen w is for word list and this uh, hyphen h for is host sorry header let's copy it hyphen u is for url and paste it here okay so let's exclude the size we will use two three nine five okay let's see the question that is what is the first subdomain discovered so the first domain is delta delta let's let's write delta and submit the answer what is the second subdomain discovered that is yellow let's write yellow submit the answer okay so we have successfully completed this subdomain enumeration room of try hack me and let me terminate the machine uh, subdomain enumeration is a very important part in bug hunting i highly recommend you guys to practice all of these tools which we have learned in this room and i hope you like this video guys if you did then share this video with your friends and colleagues and yes don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep hacking